Okay, so alternative uh, ways of wiring and lighting installations, which is actually quite common. Um, so whereas three plate, the line went up to the light and into the loop terminal, and in two plate, the line goes down to the switch. Um, in both cases, the neutral goes up to the light. Uh, you don't need to take it down to the switch. What seems to be common practice now, and what is common practice, is basically we take the line and neutral, certainly for domestic, line and neutral often goes to the switch as well. So line conductor, because it's be a twin and earth, would come in and connect. And the neutral, come out of its neutral bar, also comes in, but there's nowhere for it to connect, so it has to go into a connector. So it would be connected in the back of the box. And we've now brought that into there. So we've brought one twin and earth cable into this point here. So we need to take that up to the light switch. So we take another twin and earth back up to the light. So now when wired we have a twin and earth that comes into the box and we have a twin and earth which comes out of the box. When taking these twin and earths to these points here you need to mark which cable is going where so we need to mark the switch line um, cable going back up to the light so depending on what you tend to do but the person now will always put a nick inside of the cable so you know the cable with a nick in it when it comes to making it off the person knows which one goes in which termination. So how do we go to another light? Okay, so we want to add extra lights on, which obviously you would do, because you not having just one on the circuit if it's fairly remote. So this alternative system, we'd like to take a twin and earth cable from here to our next light, so it'll come out of the common and connect it there. Being a twin cable, we'll take another connection out of the neutral. will be connected into that location there as well. So we now have a twin and earth cable coming to this point and we repeat the system again to wire into our next light. And we keep going. So if we want to go to the next light again, and we come out of this connection. And then we come out of that connection. So we have a twin and earth cable coming in, twin and earth cable coming up to the light. This one you would mark. Twin and earth cable linking to providing power to the next set of lights. Don't need to mark this one because we know what it's going to do. That comes in, neutral connects. A switch line come away, mark this cable, connect up to there, and then continue on and repeat. So another alternative, you might want to alter things or change things as it's going along. Um, we want to turn this one into two-way. So it's switched on and off. So we're going to add another switch in somewhere, wherever it happens to be, so it needs to be a two-way. And as before, we need to get rid of the one-way switch. So that would be disconnected for the time being. And you would go off and buy a two-way switch. I've put this one in this box over here, so this would be a one-gang. This would be a two-gang switch. Um, if you bought this as a two gang at the plate, this would be a two way switch as well. But remember, two ways can be used as one way. So now we have, we're back to this position again. So we run a three core from here to here. So that would be brown, black, and grey. But the point being, it's the same as before. We connect common to common and the L1s to L2 and L1s. Yeah. 
to connect the, the strappers together and it doesn't matter if it has L1, L2, or L1, L1, it makes no odds whatsoever. We've now got to connect these back in and remember they don't go in the common anymore. You need to take one into L1 and one into L2. So these two are going to connect into there. And now we have a two-way. Because these are brown, black and grey, what you must do is you would sleeve, you must sleeve all the ends of these conductors the appropriate colour, which would be brown. So if we look at this switch now, is the light on or off? If we take the switch in the solid line position, so the current would come up, come down, you can go up that way, and it's on. If you move it over to the other position, it will go off, and vice versa. It is a different type of lighting. So this is one that's got non-maintained uh, emergency lighting within it, so commercial installations. So I have a distribution board, uh, an emergency light, um, another light, and another light, and two sets of switches. So we'll treat those together, and this one off of this switch here. So because it would be wired, well, we'll assume it's wired in singles, we'll do it as a two-plate method, because it's the most economical use of conductors. So therefore neutral will go straight to the light for that first light there. Now emergency lighting, emergency lighting needs a permanent feed to it because it will have integral battery packs to trickle charge the batteries on mains failure then the light would stay on. It wouldn't be every single light, it would be a certain number to achieve the minimum uh, illuminance required on mains failure. But what we need is we need a point to test the emergency and that needs to be local to it. Um, so typically you put like in the a switch in the same room and it would be a key switch so it'd be a key operated switch with a key next switch so it's still a one-way switch or a two-way switch whatever it wishes to be but it just means you can't operate you need a physical key to fit into it um, which isn't as drastic as it sounds because it's just like a bit of a fish tail effectively that fits inside it um, and then you've got your one-way switch to control the light as normal so uh, how do we wire this one well, the feed will come out, doesn't need to go up here because we don't need it up there. So what we do is we take it into the key switch first. So in the top of the key switch, this then will link out and go into the top of the common. Okay, so what we need is we need a switch line to come up to this one here. So this will come outside of that switch and connect into the switch line, which will bring this light on but we need a permanent feed to the emergency light. But we need a permanent feed to the emergency light to feed the battery pack. But that's got to come from the key switch. So it can either come off of that point there or that point there. It makes no odds and I'll come off of this one here. So it comes out and connects in there and that becomes our permanent feed. So we have a switch line, so when we switch this switch, the light will switch on and off. Uh, providing we have a mains power supply, this will all work. If you lose this power supply, then this will swap over into emergency. But the way you're going to lose the power supply for that is by switching off the key switch, and that kills both of these feeds then. So both of these are killed for that one there. Now we're going to assume this light is in the same room as that, so we need power to run to those. So we'll take the neutral out of that to the next light. Well, this is a uh, non-emergency light, so we don't need the emergency feed. We just take the switch line to it. But if the next one was another emergency, then you take that emergency and the switch line and the neutral to the next light. If we have another light on there, and there could possibly be more than one emergency in a room, then obviously that emergency feed, the permanent feed, goes bypass that and picks up the next light. So that's the first one, but we now need to take it to another room. And obviously neutral will continue through up here. 
So that continues from light to light to light and keeps going until you get to the very end. But we need a feed hook to this point. So where do we take it from? Well, we don't. It could take it from there, but if we take it from here, every time you turn the key switch off, it will kill every light from that point onwards. So where we take it from is this point here into the common and then out and like so. Now if we want to take the feed to um, another room then that will come out of this point here and the neutral that point there. So now when we look at this we switch this light on and off it will switch this one on and off this key switch will kill everything in that room. So that's the idea. Is when, if you want to test the emergency light, you might want to see if you got the illuminance correct. So by killing that, you kill all the lights in that particular room. When we turn this key switch off, 